What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to your video. Today, I'm doing race six for the 2024 Baptist Health 200. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This weekend, the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series has a one-and-a-half-mile racetrack known as Homestead Miami Speedway, a racetrack that produced a lot of long green flag runs, a lot of side-by-side -side racing, a lot of drivers running the wall, which creates some really exciting and very fun racing. The last time it ran your home San Miami Speedway, we saw Carson Ospar pick up his fourth and final victory of the 2023 season. He will not be back this time around to defend, as of course no cup driver is permitted to run in the playoffs for the truck series. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into picks. But before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is looking very interesting. It's going to be 83 degrees high with 72 degrees low with a 15% chance of, chance of showers. With rain potentially being in the forecast for this weekend, it is Florida though, so pop out showers could definitely be a big factor, which could affect not just the truck race, but also the Xfinity Series race as well. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the playoff standings going into the second race of the round of eight. So a couple weeks ago, Grant and Finger advanced into the championship four with the win at Talladega Super Speedway. Corey Ham is 30 points above the cutoff line. Christian Eck is 29 points below. And Ty Majeski is 5 points up. Then you've got Roger Kroof is 5 points below. Taylor Grace 13 below. Nick Sanchez is 20 below. And Tyler Ankrum is 23 below. So you've got N Finger up. Corey Ham up 30. Eck is up 29. And then you got Ty Majeski up 5. It's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out over the course of the next week. And we'll see how the next two weeks go. But I think the cutoff battle is going to be between Majeski, Kroof, and Nick Sanchez most likely going into the final two races. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's my picks that usually work. I do two suck picks, two jars. I expect a struggle throughout the weekend who will not have a good run. I do two underdog picks, two drivers who desperately need a good run who I think will have a good run or really get at this type of track. And I do my winner's pick, the driver thinks is going to win the race overall. And then I do the drivers need to watch out for and usually for the truck series. I got four drivers need to watch out for along with the race winner. So now let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the Baptist Self 200? My first suck pick for this weekend at Homestead is a driver to 13 truck for Thor Sport Racing, Jake Garcia. Jake Garcia has been very disappointing so far in 2024. Coming into this year, I thought he'd make the playoffs. So far this year, he's only had two top 10 finishes and has only had a 19.2 average finish. He's barely outperforming Haley Deegan. He's only up three positions higher in points than she was last year, and he's been a little bit better on the average finish and not much. I expected more from this year. It's been a major disappointment for the 13 team, and I was expecting a little bit more speed, and I just have not seen that consistent speed from Jake Garcia throughout the 2024 Craftsman Truck Series season. My second suck pick for this week in a home set is a driver of the 41 truck for Nice Motorsports, Bailey Curry. Very similar to Jake Garcia, I expect them more from Bailey Curry. Now, last year in this race, he showed a lot of pace and speed, so maybe he could show that speed, but I just haven't seen the consistent pace that I really expected. He lost his crew chief, Mike Hillman Jr., a few weeks ago when he moved over to Freedom Racing Enterprises, and since that time, Bailey Curry has just not had the pace and speed to really show it throughout the year. So I think he's unfortunately going to struggle and not have the best run. I don't think he will be a major factor this weekend at Homestead. And now we're going to hedge up on the underdog picks for the Baptist Health 200. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for this weekend at Homestead is a driver of the 91 truck for McAnally Hilgeman Racing, Corey Day. Corey Day is back in the Craftsman Truck Series once again, making, I believe, his third of four schedule starts this year. And I think Corey Day is actually going to run really solidly. Plus, he does have a lot of experience in working with Kyle Larson. And we know that Kyle Larson is great at running the high line. And dirt drivers tend to run the high line and be very successful. I think that experience of running the high line in dirt racing is going to play a major role in it this weekend. And I do think that Corey Day is going to have a pretty strong and pretty good performance. I think he will contend maybe for his first ever top 10 in the Truck Series. I think he runs pretty well for sure this week. Weekend at home said Miami Speedway. My second underdog pick for this weekend at home said is the driver of the 45 truck for Nice Motorsports, Caden Honeycutt. Caden Honeycutt is working once again with Phil Gold, who cruise chief for Bailey Curry last year, had some great runs. I think Katie Honeycutt is actually going to have a really solid performance this weekend. He's been fast in a lot of the race he ran, and he's been pretty good on the mile and a half so far. Plus, we did see Nice Motorsports truck win last time here, that of course being Carson Hosovar. So I think that Caden Honeycutt is going to have the pace and speed to potentially contend for the win this weekend. I think it'll be fast and pretty strong and might contend at least for sure for a top five, if maybe not a win, this weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. 
And now we're going to go ahead and jump onto the winner's pick for the Baptist Health 200. Who am I picking to win? The driver who I'm picking to win this weekend at home, Sam Miami Speedway, I believe has already won six races so far in 2024, and this guy's been the best throughout the field. I'm picking the driver of the 11 truck for Tricon Garage, Corey Hyde, to pick up his seventh win of 2024 and lock his way into the championship four at Phoenix. Corey Heim has been dynamite, especially on the mile and a half tracks. He was really fast here last year, though I don't think he got the finish he deserved. And his 11 team has been showing up on a week-by-week -week basis. He had a decent run at Talladega, a course one at Kansas a few weekends ago. I think that Corey Heim is going to be a major factor, and I think he will be a serious threat and serious contender. And I think he will finally get into the championship four, looking for redemption after last year getting taken out by Carson Hosomar. I think Corey Heim will end up making it to the championship four and winning this weekend at home at Miami Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump onto the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at Homestead. Who should you have your eyes out on? The first driver to watch out for for this weekend at Homestead is the driver of the 19 truck for McAnally Hilgeman Racing, Christian Eckes. Christian Eckes has been very strong so far in 2024. And for the most part, it's been really the only guy on a consistent basis that's been able to keep up with Corey Heim this year. He's had some really good speed on the mile and a half. He has on one a mile and a half race. Yes, he finally did win an intermediate at Nashville, but he's been better on those flatter tracks. I think Christian Doe is going to have a really strong run. I think he will have top five pace and speed. If they don't make a mistake, I think he'll be fast. I think he will be a contender for sure this weekend at Homestead. My second driver to watch out for for this weekend at Homestead is a driver 38 truck for Farmer Motorsports Lane Riggs. Lane Riggs has been dynamite in the second half of this year. He's won two of the last four or five races, and outside of a wreck at Talladega, he's finished in the top five like the previous five or six straight weeks. I think Corey, ha not Corey, I'm Lane Riggs is going to be a major factor for the win. Last year, the 38 car had a chance to win, but obviously got disqualified. I believe for a window fastener not being tightened. I think the lane race is going to be a major factor for this win. This 38 team has been so strong. I don't think they're going to have the issues they had last year here. I think he's going to do really solid and really, really good for sure this weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. The third driver to watch out for for this weekend at Homestead is a driver to 75 truck for Henderson Motorsports, Connor Zilch. When you think of a 75 team, they're kind of a mid-pack organization. However, you've got one, Connor Zilch getting some experience in the truck series. But number two, this is going to be a Spire prepared truck. And the Spire truck's a mile and a half this year. They've shown a lot of great pace and a lot of strong speed. And plus, we've already seen Roger Kroof be fast and win a race with Spire equipment. So I think that Connor Zilch will contend at least for a top five, and maybe, just maybe, will maybe get the victory for sure this weekend at Homestead. And the fourth final driver that I think you should watch out for for this weekend at Homestead is a driver to 71 truck for Spire Motorsports, Roger Carew. Roger Carew, like I mentioned a second ago, has been super strong a mile and a half this year and also did end up picking up the victory at Las Vegas in the spring. Well, he hasn't been as strong at times. He's also been very fast at this track. And last year in this race, he had top five speed. And I thought he had a really, really great truck last year. I think Roger is going to be a major factor and a very serious contender to get it done. And it would not shock me or surprise me if Roger Kirk does, in fact, end up getting his second win of the year and locking his way into the championship four. I think he's got a really good chance and opportunity to win it this weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. So, those are my race picks for the 2024 Baptist Health 200. Just a reminder, my sec picks are Jake Garcia, Bailey Curry. My underdog picks are Corey Day, Caden Honeycutt. My winner's pick is Corey Heim. And the ones to watch out for are Christian Eckes, Lane Riggs, Connor Zilich, and Roger Carew. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be it for the race picks video for the 2024 Baptist Health 200 at Homestead Miami Speedway. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. The notifications on so if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. List description below that and combo your picks below for this weekend at Homestead. Tell me your suck picks, tell me your underdog picks, tell me your winner's pick, and let me know drivers you're watching now for for this weekend at Homestead. Let me know your picks in the comments below. I don't think I have any more content dropping today on the channel. Tomorrow on the channel, we'll have a NASCAR news video discussing news over the course of the last couple days. We are also going to have race picks for the NASCAR Xfinity race. Friday, we're going to have a NASCAR news video dropping on the channel. We'll probably also may have reactions to Xfinity series qualifying as well. Then on Saturday, we'll have reactions to Cup qualifying early in the morning. We'll have reactions to the Xfinity race and have a Shane Van Gisberg video most likely dropping. We also have some other content dropping this weekend as we get to the third to last race weekend. And then, of course, after this, we go 
go to Marsville, and we'll decide who goes to the championship in about a week from now. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.